Hey everyone, it's Misty, and I want to welcome you back to another weekly week Creative Weekly Wisdom episode here at Creating the Crafty Life. Today I'm going to share with you a really simple storage solution for your ephemera. To, um, for me personally, I'm only doing this system with my Tim Holtz ephemera as I have a ton of it, and it just makes so much more sense to do this instead of having to always sort through each individual pack and define specifically what you're looking for. And butterfly, like butterflies, for instance, come in several different of his packs. And so when I'm looking for one, I end up having to dump out and sort through several different packs. And so to me, it just became a lot more time consuming when I'm working on a project to have to do that. Um, I came, I, this is not my original idea. I came across uh, this idea on Instagram um, from a girl named Juicy Christians. That's her Instagram account. I'll have that in the description box below so you can check it out or somewhere on the description page. Um, she um, adhered her adhesive like a catalog in a mixed media bound book, a ring bound mixed media book. And I love this system. You can literally flip through your pages, find what you need. I've seen a lot of different storage systems. I've seen ones where, you know, you have like your baseball card holder type pockets or you make pockets yourself and you have them in there, but you can't completely close them properly all the time. And some of these pieces are so tiny. I like this. I like that I can see everything. I mean, literally every piece you can see. And so I think this system is a really nice system pretty much for everybody, I would say. Um, what you're going to need for this system is you'll obviously need the book. This one retails for about $16.99 at like Michael's, maybe it's cheaper, Amazon, I'm not exactly sure. But you want to wait and get it half off or use a 60% coupon, that would be best. And then um, if it's half off and you have maybe a 15% discount, you can use that on top of it. That's what I did because I have a military discount. Um, the cheaper alternative to this is to use a three ring binder with, because you, you definitely want um, rings so that way you can flip and that it can grow because it's going to because you're adding another layer of paper to each page. And you want it to just be able to expand at, at, the, um, at the binding area. So anything with the ring, so three ring binder and then use thicker paper like um, I would say paper crafting cardstock, not construction paper, not printer paper. You want the, the cardstock that's for paper crafters because it's thicker and you want something that's not super smooth so that way the adhesive doesn't tack down too much and have such a um, solid surface to adhere to that you can't pull it back. So the mixed media paper has a very slight texture. Um, if you've ever used watercolor paper, it's less textured than watercolor paper, but more textured than smooth paper, if that makes any sense. So I like to use this one. This is what she used. And if um, I would say if I was trying to go a slightly cheaper route, I would do the three ring binder with a pack of cardstock. You can get like a cheap cardstock, and I would say this would work with like the Michaels cardstock, the um, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, any off-brand cheaper cardstock. You don't have to buy the higher-end stuff, not for this purpose. Um, what I do like about this one is that it comes in the 9 by 12 so it is slightly larger than your typical 8.5 by 11 inch paper. And then also, it comes with a lot of paper. I think there's um, 60 sheets in here. And so, I I mean, there's just no way you're going to use all 60 sheets in this book because it would be so thick that these rings would no longer function properly. Um, it would just be way too thick. I haven't used that many sheets, and if you can see, you can see the sheets that I've used, how thick it's gotten. And that's probably like maybe 10 sheets, maybe tops, maybe not even 10. So I'm probably going to end up taking half this paper out and... It, it does have a um, like a serrated edge on this so that way you can take them out cleanly or you can just take them out you know where they're bound into the, the binding system that's up to you but um, because it's mixed media paper 
it's great for all the projects that I love to do because I love to use sprays and inks and all that stuff. So I've never used mixed media paper in my own crafting. I typically use watercolor paper or I prime just normal cardstock if necessary. Um, but I'm actually really excited that I get to use half this pack just for my own crafting. So it's like a two-in-one sort of deal if you get this particular book. Now, half the sheets in here should, I'm, I'm hoping, hold all my ephemera. If not, I do have a second book if, that I could do this to. Um, this is really simple. It is time-consuming, but it's simple. I would say I carved out the time pretty much just when I was watching TV or watching a movie with even with my family or by myself at night then I would just sit down with this in the in you know my living room and just sort through the ephemera pull it out on the page figure out the configuration while it was all loose and then go ahead and just put down my little bit of adhesive and hear it down once you get it all figured out if you go at it before you do that you might end up figuring out things don't fit and you have to start a whole new page um, how she did hers was she kind of just put down all her ephemera. Now, if that's what you want to do, by all means, if that's what works for you. Um, because I do videos and Creative Weekly Wisdoms and stuff, I do need to know exactly where the products I use come from and the names of like the packs or the brands or whatever. So I did do like field note snippets. I used my brother, P Touch Label Maker, and I, because, okay, so because these packs kind of come with a variety of stuff in them, I decided that instead of just doing it by one pack, which will work for some people, but I want to see I'm doing something and I want butterflies. I want to be able to flip through and see all my butterflies in just one go or multiple pages because, you know, I have a lot of different ephemera packs, and that makes it just so much easier. So now I can look at this and just say, oh, I like that color. It works with my project. Or, ooh, let's try that one. And I think this is a, a beautiful system. And I think it's I'm going to love this system for a really long time. Now, the adhesive that I decided to use was some Dot Runner. I tried a lot of adhesives. So some of these have different adhesives on them because I was kind of figuring out what I like, what comes up easier what holds the best and I found that I like dot runners she used this permanent Tombow adhesive and I am so shocked that her stuff is even coming up I don't know if hers is just older maybe it's just not as tacky as it used to be but when I use this stuff because I use this stuff on projects and it like adheres I mean you're not pulling it up without ripping something so I know, I'll know which one I used with this when I go to use it because it's going to be a beast to get up off the page. So I definitely, um, yes, you can use just the teeniest, teeniest mount, but you're still going to have that same problem. And I like the dot runners. I tried some other different adhesives. I tried ones that were um, not permanent or like the repositional stuff. I tried different permanent ones. And I found any of the dot runners that you have will work for this because it's just, and I'm, I'm talking like the teeny dots, not like the ones that have like almost like um, big giant dots. <laughs> so this is nice because it, it works two ways. Um, because it's dots, so you can just pick up a little bit or you can hear down a whole strip. So what I do like with these really tiny things and stuff, and I'll show you in a little bit, um, I'll show you actually doing it is I actually press down on it instead of um, running my tape on it. And regardless, when I do run the tape, I run just a teeny bit. Like on the larger ones, just a little bit in the center, and that's all you need. The more you put down, the harder it's gonna get, or harder it's gonna be to pull it up off the page. So that, that is definitely like one of the biggest things that you have to worry about. So like I said, I separated mine by item type and then just labeled it so like I have up top it says butterflies and then as I go through I have butterflies and then at the top of each section is just the name of the pack that it came from and so they're just all adhered you know just with my little dot runner 
And I'm going to say it doesn't take too long. Um, it actually goes faster than you would think. But I have a lot of ephemera, so it's going to take time. I only do it when I have the, like, spare free time and I'm watching TV or something. So it's going to take some time to get all my ephemera in here. But I just love it. Like, those are all my mushrooms. And what I love is that I don't have to search through the pack. And this stuff is just, it's just so nice. And then all my flowers, I don't use my flowers as often as I should. And that's because I end up sifting through and finding other things, or I don't look for the flowers at all. I mean, there's packs I don't even go to for crafting because I find something that's on top and I end up using the same packs over and over again. And I'm just not using what I have. And I don't like that. And then I go through them when I'm like looking for things to give to people for like a swap or something. And then I realize why am I not using this? And that's just because I've gotten the habit of reaching for a few packs that I love instead of also loving the other ones I have as well. Because it's Tim Holtz ephemera. Come on. How could you not love it all? So I got uh, my flowers, you know, different things. And then um, one of the things I really am at fault for and that is not using my botanicals um, he came out with these many years ago and i don't know why i don't reach for these they're at the bottom of my botanical like section of my drawer for ephemera and i just don't and now that they're in here i will plus it's just so much easier to see you know what you have when you can just flip through it like this i mean come on doesn't it make you actually want to use it more too so now my next section is labels. So I wasn't sure how I was going to sort the rest of the ephemera. I wasn't sure if I was just going to move on to just putting the rest of the pieces in there or actually dividing them up some. But as I was going through packs and I was looking for like the flowers and butterflies and stuff, I was coming across a lot of the same types of things, but not a ton and across all the different packs. So I thought, okay, I am going to make some more categories. So this is the next category that I'm currently working on. I haven't got any further than this category yet. But I decided to do labels. And so this is just from the field notes. And then this is the very last page I've done. And then this is like from the snippets. The snippets have a ton of labels in it. And then the keepsakes labels. And I mean, you categorize your stuff however you want I kind of went with the outline even if it has like words and then if it looks like a label I kind of stuck it in here like this is an address label okay so I did want to adhere one with you and that's this little guy here and I wanted to show you let me zoom in for this I don't know how much I can zoom in okay <laughs> okay so when you do you have little little pieces like say these guys here because I definitely did it with these ones that instead of trying to get it on there this way just take it and just kind of just touch it and it'll come up with the paper let's see if you can see that you can see the little dots on there I'm hoping there you go so I like this way and then I'm actually going to do a little bit more because that's not enough for this little piece. But, I mean, you just, you want almost, like, barely anything on the whole thing. I mean, just a little bit. And then you go ahead and adhere it down. And there you go. It will, it'll stay down enough that it doesn't fall off, but not enough where you can't easily pull it off. So I do want to show you the how you take them off. And for the little ones, I do use tweezers, but for most of them, I just use my finger. So like this one, you do want to go a little slow. You don't want to just go at it because then you will rip something. But they, the adhesive for these dot runners, because it's not one solid piece, they pull up fairly easy. And you can restick them. But just remember, every time you pull it up and stick it back down again, you're going to lose some of that tack. So don't do it too often. Or just... You know, if it becomes not sticky enough, you just add more adhesive. Um, like I said, less is more. Before you start going and adhering, like, the whole piece down, it's not necessary to do that. I don't go edge to edge or nothing like that, because then you definitely will not be able to bring it back up. And then these little ones, 
even just with the teeniest bit, comes right up, nothing tore. And another beautiful thing about the dot runners is that you can actually rub the adhesive off. So if however you're adhering your stuff down, if you don't want that dot adhesive, maybe it's like slightly over a paper or over the edge and you don't want it to show, you can just rub it off really easily. It's I do like the dot adhesive method. So the other thing I do is with most of my larger pieces or longer pieces, I do just put a little bit on each end versus in the middle, just so you don't have this a long area with nothing attached and it can get caught and then flip up and then you end up ruining your adhesive or your ephemera. So um yeah, this is how I store it. I really like this system. I even want to make a whole book that is just for my paper dolls because I do like this system so much. Um, I would love to see how you adhere um, your adhesive down, or not your, your ephemera down, or how you store your ephemera in general. Um, what works for you? I like this idea. I also like the idea of putting in a three ring binder with paper and you can just remove individual sheets if you need to instead of bringing a whole book to your surface. Um, it just, you know, whatever works for you. And I hope you guys enjoyed this fun idea and we'll give it a try. And I will see you guys in a couple weeks for our next Creative Weekly Wisdom. And I hope you have a great day. See you on CCL. Bye.